Hi, this is Scott Trudeau. I'm an educational solutions consultant with Adobe. Today we're going to see how to map an image through an e to an e 3D object made inside Photoshop. So you can see we've created a sphere inside Photoshop and I can use some of the tools now to manipulate that sphere. In this case I'm going to use the rotate tool. So you can see I can rotate the around the sphere and see the different aspects of the image. Now this was a flat image that was found on the internet mapped to the sphere. Let's go ahead and see another project. This is a great student project. I like to call it a solar system baseball card. So here you see some stats about the planetary object, in this case Jupiter, and the 3D object that was created using the method I'm fixing to show you. So let's go ahead and see how we can map an image through a 3D object. First thing I'm going to do is click on File and then choose New. I'll just go with US paper size, that's fine. You can change it to whatever size you like. Click on OK. And I'm now going to visit the 3D settings up at the top of Photoshop Extended. So I'm going to go to 3D, I'm going to choose the new shape from layer, and select Sphere. It takes it about a second or two, but then Photoshop renders out a 3D sphere onto that layer. I know it's 3D layer because over here in my layers panel, there's a little cube in the lower right hand corner of the icon. I'm going to double click the layer name and rename it Jupiter. So the next thing I need to do is open up the 3D panel. So I'm going to choose Window and 3D. Now if I select the layer with the Jupyter 3D object on it, you're going to see its properties pop up inside the 3D panel. Another way, by the way, to activate the 3D panel is by simply clicking on the little cube on the layer. I'm going to double click the cube and you're going to see the 3D panel opens up as well. <coughs> so from here I'm going to spin down the 3D the objects that make up the 3D sphere and click on the sphere material. Now I need to go to the internet and find an image. So I'm going to click on the browser and open it up and go to my favorite search engine or whatever your search engine of choice is. And in this case I'm going to type in Jupiter surface map. I'm going to search for a Jupiter surface map and then I'm going to switch it over to image mode. So wait, I have a whole bunch of different images that have been taken of the surface of Jupiter. Find a decent sized Jupyter image and download it. Save it to your computer. Now to jump back into Photoshop. The next thing I'm going to do is take the sphere material of the 3D layer. So if you again don't see your 3D panel, click on Window pan or 3D, Window 3D, scroll down the different objects that make up the sphere, click on the sphere material. And down below under its properties, we're going to concentrate on the diffuse properties. I'm going to select the drop down and choose load texture. I'm then going to go look for the image that I saved to my computer. In this case, Jupiter underscore surface dot JPEG. I specifically want a JPEG because I intend on publishing this layer to a PDF file. I want to publish it to a PDF file so that other people can manipulate the 3D object without having to have a 3D tool. They simply need the free Acrobat Reader. I'm going to go ahead and choose Open. When I open that up, it just takes a couple seconds and then it renders out the surface map onto the 3D object. Now let's take a look at some of the tools we can use to manipulate this 3D object. I'm going to make sure the layer is selected and open up my 3D panel. Once you do, you get some options across the top. So right now I have the Orbit or, or the Rotate option selected. and I can select and move the object around. Some of the other nice options are, for example, the drag the 3D object tool. If I click on that, that just allows me to move the 3D object left or right. So basically, I'm panning the object around. The next, pro uh, next option, I'm allowed to change the depth of the object. So I can slide the object, and I can slide the 3D object either if I move my mouse down, it brings it toward me. If I move it up, it moves it further away into the distance. And then finally we have the scale. If I click on the scale tool that allows me to drag down with my mouse and make the object smaller or drag up with my mouse and make it larger. I'm just going to make it about this big. Now I need a new layer for the black space in the background. I'm just going to come up and choose layer, new layer. I'll go ahead and name this black space. And you can see it creates a new layer in my layer panel. I'll then fill it. So I'm going to choose edit fill. I'm going to fill it with the color black and choose OK. 
it go it fills the entire layer with the color black and now all I need to do is go to my layers panel and drag that layer below the Jupiter now I've created a planet so in the next movie I'm going to show you how to export the 3d layer from Photoshop into PDF